I want to show you how easy it is to create intercompany general journals in Dynamics 365 Business Central. We're going to look at intercompany general journals, how to create them and post them. We'll also look at the intercompany chart of accounts and the intercompany inbox. For this demonstration, I'm going to use this intercompany organization. I've got three entities. They're all in Business Central. And I'm going to show you an intercompany general journal from the originating company, Cronus, to each of the distribution companies. Here's the intercompany general journal screen in Business Central. I am logged into Cronus, the originating company, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to allocate salaries expense from Cronus to each of the two other companies. So in this journal entry, I'm crediting salaries expense, then I'm debiting the intercompany partner accounts for AMD, American Industrial, and American Distribution. In this field, I have multiple options here. I'm choosing intercompany partner. You can see that I've already set up American Distribution and AM Industrial. This is the debit account that's going to be used on the receiving end or the distribution company for this transaction. And when I do a lookup, I'm looking at the intercompany chart of accounts. The intercompany chart of accounts sets up a mapping between the intercompany chart of accounts and the chart of accounts in the receiving company or the distribution company. And you can see that here. In the left column, I've got the intercompany chart of accounts. In the right column, I have it mapped to each of the receiving companies or the distribution companies. So I'm going to go ahead and post this. I'm done. Now I'm logged into AM Industrial. Let's take a look at the intercompany inbox. The intercompany inbox shows transactions coming from other entities within Business Central. This transaction down here is coming in from Cronus. And I can take different actions on this. If I go to actions, you can see those actions there. I'm going to go ahead and accept this. And when I accept it, it'll turn this transaction into an intercompany general journal, and we'll take a look at that next. Here's the intercompany general journal that was created from the intercompany inbox. You can see that it's crediting the intercompany partner Cronus, and it's debiting the GL account in the chart of accounts for the company that I'm logged into, which is AM Industrial. Now all I need to do here is I can just post this. So this gives me an opportunity to review this transaction if it's fine, then I go ahead and post it. Let's take a look at the intercompany chart of accounts. This is a mapping between the intercompany chart of accounts and the chart of accounts of the company that I'm logged into. On the left column here, I've got the intercompany chart of account numbers. They're all listed here. And then on the right-hand side, I've got the individual account numbers from the chart of accounts for the company I'm logged into, which is AM Industrial. Now this can be created manually, or you can also import it. Once you have the intercompany chart of accounts, you can also map it to the chart of accounts for the destination company or the company that you're logged into automatically using one of these processes. Let's take a quick look at two setup items. First of all, every entity that you have in Business Central is going to have to be set up with an intercompany ID. You can see that here. So this is the intercompany partner code for this particular company I'm logged into. And then also you want to define the relationship between other entities in Business Central. In this case, AM Industrial has a relationship with one other partner, and that's Cronus. That's the one that we use in the demonstration. So that relationship is set up here. You can drill down and look at some of the detail in it. So this was a quick demonstration of the intercompany general journals in Dynamics 365 Business Central. We looked at the intercompany general journal screen, we looked at the intercompany chart of accounts, some minor setup items that you have to do, and also we looked at the intercompany inbox.